This is the new Clones vs. Droids Battle Pack, and in my opinion, one of the best LEGO Star Wars Battle Packs of all time. And today I'll be making a bunch of alternate builds with the pieces in the set, kind of challenging myself to see what I can come up with. Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to build is some clone anti-aircraft guns. Kind of an interesting idea. I kind of want to make that turret look a lot better and not just have a stud shooter on the top. So I kind of redesigned the whole thing and this is what I came up with. So here is the clone anti-aircraft guns I created. You can move the double barrel turret on top if you wanted to make it more like a machine gun. And you can also put a clone in the back. He's pretty easily removed. And there are also some stud shooters on the sides just to add some extra detail. They don't actually fire. I just kind of needed to put something there and I think the stud shooters look okay. And it does have some feet as well. So I'm pretty happy with this build. I think it looks a lot better than the turret included in the set. And let's move on to the next build. So what I want to build now is I want to build a better turret. I kind of did that with the last build, which is the anti-aircraft guns. And so what I want to do is I kind of want to keep the shape of it, but make it a lot bigger and kind of make it a bunker design. So you can actually put clones in it instead of just having them behind it. So I'll show you what I came up with. So this is the clone bunker build I created. You can fit two clones behind it and it has two little openings in the front for their blasters. And I also put a lot of detail on the sides. I kind of kept the same shape as the turret in the set, except that I used the Octopatara droid's legs to kind of make it a lot bigger. And overall, I think this one is super cool. It could be a little bit bigger, so it could fit more clones, but I think this works a lot better than the turret included in the set. Now that we've given the clones a few builds, I think it's time to give the droids a build to defend themselves with. They're looking pretty defenseless over there. So to be honest, in this set, the Octopatara droid is a really good build for the droid side. But since this is an alternate build video, I am going to be taking it apart to make my own creation. And it's a lot smaller than the Octopatara droid, but I'm thinking I'm going to make a dwarf spider droid build. And I think this is going to be a real challenge with the pieces included in the set. I mean, that dome piece on the Octopatara droid is good, but I'll show you what I came up with. Don't laugh, okay? It was a very big challenge. This took me a very long time to design. And I technically built it with, I think, an illegal building technique with that dome piece at the top that's like only attached by like these weird triangle pieces so it could come off, but I think it looks really good. So as you can see, it is a little bit similar to the ATTE Dwarf Spider Droid. It just is a little bit different with the way that <laughs> it only has three legs. All right, I've saved the best for last, and that is, well, really the worst for last, to be honest. That speeder included in the set is really bad, so I tried to upgrade it with some pieces from the rest of the set, and this is what I came up with. So this is the speeder build I came up with. It looks a little bit funky, but I like some of the details I was able to add with the extra pieces, like the thrust in the back made of megaphones, and I do like the front design a lot better than Legos without those weird backwards triangle pieces. And it's a shame it doesn't fit two clones, that's something I kind of wanted to do. But I like the cockpit design I came up with where you can lean back the clone trooper really far. And I like the rails I put on the side of the cockpit. I think that looks super cool. So overall, I really like the speeder design and I like how many details I was able to pack in. So overall, I think these alternate builds are really cool. They might not be as good as the actual builds in the set, but I think if you're more into building clone vehicles, this is definitely for you. If you want to know how to build any of the models in this video, comment down below and I can release a instructions video where I just show step by step how to build them. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.